Welcome back to Linda's Pantry and today it's Monday and yes I caught a cold oh and it's raining it's dreary outside and I don't want to have to go anywhere but my client texted me over the weekend and he needs two products that I don't have in stock at the salon. So I have to go to the beauty supply. And I'll just go ahead and stock up on my color and do all that while I'm there so I don't have to worry about it. I think I need developer too. So I woke up three times with a horrible, horrible sore throat. It hurt, hurt, hurt to swallow. And um, now I, I think I took care of it. I make up this um, turmeric and honey and it has a little bit of cinnamon in it. But the honey coat in my throat made me feel a whole bunch better. And I'm gonna grab an umbrella. It's pouring outside. It's supposed to rain all day. We're having a, another one of those um, atmospheric rivers or the Pineapple Express, if you will. Um, I'm gonna leave sage inside. The other jahuzi fats are outside. <laughs> in the bachelor pad until I get back. I'm not going to be gone that long. Beauty supply, Walmart. And I'm going to Walmart. I need mascara. I need a couple of things to uh, make for my dinner. Whenever I get sick or I don't feel, you know, 100%, I crave soup. And I have the checker meat that's thawed out. I'm going to make an Asian-inspired meatball soup with little twist on it. And I'm hoping to go ahead and film that with the big camera so you'll get to see a complete version of it. And for those of you that like recipes, when I'm doing a recipe video, get a piece of paper and a pencil and write it down. Um, I don't, honestly, I don't have time to write them all down. And most of the time, you can change it however you want. So it's kind of a waste of time if I write it down and you interchange something. But anyway, okay, so I'll show my bedroom. Oh, I had a great weekend with my hubs. <laughs> we laughed so hard yesterday. Oh my gosh, I just love him. Anyway, um, we had a great dinner. We talked about, you know, our six year plan and uh, hopefully we can pull off some of the things we want to do. Okay, I'm gonna wear my new little light jacket, but um, I guess I'll talk to you when I get home from there, I'm also gonna try to make raspanero jelly. So I've got my, I've got some raspberries thawing here on the counter. I'm gonna leave them out. They'll be thawed enough by the time I get back. Um, and then I'll start the dishwasher with canning jars. That's all I use my, this is how my dishwasher looks all the time. Cause as I rotate um, jars, and I'll be doing them in 12 ounce jelly jars. So I'll make sure I have enough of those in there. I think I do. And we'll get that sanitized. And um, I'm also going to make Italian breadcrumbs today. I have a ton of bread that I need to um, use up. And the Amish oh, sweet bread recipe for sandwich loaf. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to tell you. It's delicious. So, uh, okay. And I like that loaf pan because it does make rather, you can slice it pretty thin and it makes a pretty small sandwich if you, if you know what I mean. So I'll be back and we'll uh, show you what happened and what's gonna happen. <laughs> okay, so I'm back home and it is raining, it's windy, and I want you to see something because my dogs are crack me up. Okay. Well, there's one. But he wasn't there. He was just like this guy, sitting in the car. Strut thinks he's gonna go somewhere because the door was open to the car. Hey, Strut and Blues, did you want to go bye bye with mommy? Well, you have to. Um, I have to drive. You can't drive. <laughs> so <laughs> he's cracking me up. Oh, he loves to go with me. Oh boy. So I'm, I'm gonna make you get out though, after I get all this stuff. I'm sorry, you can't hang out, out in the car, although he would take a nap in here. He would. So, let me pause you until I get the rest of the stuff in. Okay, so I got everything in 
and I got Strut in. He's he's back in with me. So I went to Walmart and I wanted Napa cabbage or bok choy. They didn't have either one. So I went over to my local grocery store and got some um, bok choy. And okay, so I'll show you what I got while I was at Walmart because might as well get some shopping for the week out of the way and then I don't have to go back. Um, and my local grocery store that's pretty expensive uh, for most everything, um, they had apples on the markdown rack again, so I got five pounds of ambrosia apples. Well, there's one that's got a bruise on it, but these are beautiful. Look at it. I mean, this has a little bruise on one side. So what? And my dogs eat apples almost daily. Um, they love them. It's a very healthy treat as long as you don't allow them to have the seeds. Oh, and this is a jazz apple. So there's a couple different kinds in here, but they all look beautiful. Okay. I'm going to put the bags in the recycling bin. Oh, I got this. Look at this. Kind of a lacy little vest. I am excited to wear that. Oh, um, bok choy. And I was glad I brought an umbrella. Let me just tell you. It was pouring. Excuse you, Shotsy dude. What's the matter? Did you choke on your water? Yep. Okay, so I guess you don't need a bark color on right now, do you? No, let's take that off. And, okay, so from Walmart. Heavy whipping cream. Michael t drinks um, or puts sugar-free creamer ugh, in his coffee. I hate that stuff. It tastes like chemicals, but he likes it. And then this is the sweet and spicy caffeine free tea that I get. So this will kind of soothe me today as I was out. Zycam, some more Zycam. I like this one because you spray in your nose. Um, some puffs with lotion. And I got a couple, four asparagus roots, just in case my asparagus doesn't come up. Lemons, a red onion, cilantro, my uh, 90, 45 calorie, um, Hebrew National Hot Dogs, and some shrimp. These are, uh, well, they call them extra large. I call them medium, but uh, easy peel, shell on, easy peel, tail on. So I'm going to take the shell and the tails off, and I'll show you what I'm going to do. It's going to be fun. And did I say cilantro? Yeah. And then I got, oh, I got some um, light Caesar dressing to take to work. Some orzo pasta. I have to have that on hand at all times. And I did not have the um, yarn that I wanted. And this is that cotton peaches and cream. And the reason I wanted it was, oh yeah, it matches perfectly. These pot holders are my favorite. And I wish I had them in multiple colors for the seasons. But I love these. I am going to crochet a hook and sew it to the back of this so I can hang them up where I hang my other pot holders because it's easy to reach. Okay, so I'll be doing that and probably not till tonight. But, and that's depending on if I get everything I'm supposed to get done, done. So there's my haul. I gotta start the dishwasher, take my coat off, and um, I think it's time for another cold medicine and some Zycam and a cup of tea. All right, guys. I wish I felt better. <laughs> I'm getting ready to make my raspberry jam, raspberry jam. And oh, the raspberries smell so good. And these are off of my raspberry plants and it's all organic. I do not use pesticides. So um, very good. And I froze just about as many as we ate and there's still a ton out there. So we'll do some other jams, but this onion I'm gonna save for um, my meat, for my Asian meatballs tonight. 
I've got to do up some more garlic. And because I have to work so long tomorrow and get there early, I'm not going to have time or want to make dinner when I get home. I'm just going to, I'm going to do this pot roast. This is my husband's favorite pot roast. Super easy. Now I put carrots down in the bottom and onions. Uh, the rest of this onion is in there around it. One package of Lipton onion soup mix and one package of, um, uh, au jus and then some pepper and teeny peppers and garlic cloves and pepper and that's really all i season it with no salt because there's plenty of salt everywhere else this is going to go in the garage refrigerator and it and it's uh, there's a chuck roast and it's a zacon chuck roast uh weighs about i want to say three and a half to four pounds um usda choice chuck roast uh so from zacon fresh so if you want to, go down below and sign up for free and get notified when they have an event in your area. Okay, so you can save some money on some bulk meats. I'm gonna put this in the garage refrigerator, so all I have to do in the morning is take the plastic wrap off, put it into my sleeve and turn it on and forget it and it'll be ready for when I get home. And I will probably eat leftover soup because I'm a soup fanatic. So I've got my habanero peppers all chopped up. My raspberries are ready. I'm using my ball fresh tech for the first time. So it's heating up. It takes quite a while to heat up. My dishwasher is almost done and I'm going to put the recipe together, but I'm going to do it on a separate video. So you will have a canning video um, for those of you that do not like vlogs and like the tutorial style video you can have a canning video at your disposal. And so I'm trying to upload as many cooking and canning and all those kind of tutorial type videos for you as I possibly can and still keep a full-time job <laughs> and vlog and, you know, have a, have a life outside of YouTube. So be patient. All right. I am busy. Oh my gosh. And I don't feel too bad, honestly. I took another... Uh, thing of cold uh, NyQuil, one of those Ny DayQuil, I'm sorry. And I feel a little bit better, but I just need to keep doing this I can, keep it up. And it'll be gone in a couple of days because I got a pretty good immune system. I don't know why I got sick. Mm. Okay, so we are ready to dish up. Actually, we're not ready. <laughs> we are now ready to dish up our beautiful Asian inspired soup. Oh, I cannot wait. I've been looking forward to this all day. I've been, I haven't felt good. I'm not feeling as bad as I could actually. I think I, I'm, I usually don't stay sick and I usually can kick it pretty quickly. Ooh, look at that beautiful broth. Oh, get a couple of those little shrimp in there. Plenty of vegetables, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've got some. Uh, this is gonna be one of your favorites. And for a Weight Watcher girl, it's virtually, hmm, the only thing you have to count are the shrimp and the meat. And you can do this, I did not preface the video by letting you know that you can do this with um, ground chicken, ground turkey, any kind of meat combination you like, or ground pork. If you wanted to do that, um, you certainly could do ground pork. So I am going to ugh, go in for the team here. Oh, I'm, I just want to taste the broth first. I know it's good because I, I tasted it prior to putting everything in there, but you know, once the vegetables kind of cook, it adds to the broth. Mmm. Oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. Mm, I'm so excited. Well, let me get a little meatball. That's why it's very important to have bite sized meatballs. <laughs> okay. Mm hmm. Can you see that? It looks delicious, doesn't it? Okay. Going in. Mmm. I'm just going to tell you, mm -hmm. that meatball is so tender and delicious. 
unbelievably tender. You need that cornstarch in there. You need that egg to kind of um, egg white to kind of help bind it um, because there's not a lot of fat in there. It's delicious. I can taste the sesame. I can taste the cilantro is right there. I'm absolutely in love with this recipe. I make it any chance I get and I do it with all three, chicken, chucker, turkey. So, um, and pork. And so, I hope you guys, well, oh, I'm gonna go enjoy this big bowl of soup. It's not as big as you think, but <laughs> my husband's gonna have a vat of soup. <laughs> and um, we're gonna enjoy a warm, comforting, low calorie bowl of soup tonight for dinner. And as always guys, I hope. Okay, so we're finished with dinner. I've got dishes done. I still have to put away a little bit of soup. I wanna let it cool all the way. You never want to put hot things in a cold refrigerator. It'll heat everything else up. It was the most delicious soup. And I could see by the look on Michael's face when I told him what we were having, he goes, oh, he likes hearty, creamy soups, not brothy. And he loved it. He had two big, huge, and that bowl is like a big pasta bowl. Uh, unbelievable. Any other time I fill that bowl with soup, he only has one bowl. He came back and got himself another bowl. He said it was amazing. So try that with chicken or turkey because most of you won't have chucker. But those of you that do, try it with the chucker, okay? Because I do post this on our Nevada Chucker Hunters website and I will post the video. Anyways, it was delicious. And how do I feel? Oh my gosh. Okay. I believe Zycam, bone broth, and turmeric works because I really don't feel that bad. And usually by the end of the day, you feel terrible. Now, I'm gonna hold judgment until tomorrow, but I'll be doing the Zycam a couple more times. Every couple of hours, you have to do it until your symptoms are gone. Uh, and um, I, I didn't drink any caffeine today. I just did bone broth and tea and water and probably not enough water but uh, I'll drink some more here and then that delicious soup oh my gosh that was fantastic so wrapping up the day did I get the breadcrumbs done no but I did two videos two tutorial videos for those of you that don't like vlogs and like the tutorials I did two now I'm gonna edit these on the new editing program on the new computer. Ugh, I hope it works. I'm hoping that I, it's not such a big learning curve for me that I have a delay. But I also have one other video that's on the other computer that I have out on my desk. Um, I have one more. And for whatever reason, ugh, maybe Okay, some of you have tried to help me with tech support, <laughs> and I love it. Um, for the computer, hitting the battery icon and adjusting that to 100%, for whatever reason, it doesn't help when you unplug it from the power source, it still goes dim. So I'm probably gonna have to call tech support. Oh, there's my Shotzi dudes are back there. Um, because it shouldn't happen that way. The laptop should stay in full brightness while the battery is full. It shouldn't do that until it starts getting low. But that being said, so I have a Canon T5i and anytime I put the SD card into my computer, it erases, I don't, I have not hit that option to erase after uploading or, or you know, transferring it. So once it transfers, I, I have no access to it other than the computer source. So I couldn't, like the last two videos, I couldn't put them on the new computer because they were on the other computer and the SD card is blank again. So if you know how to change that, I've tried to look in the camera, let me know. Anyway, guys, I just have enjoyed every bit of your comments and uh, sharing what you're doing and um, helping me along and encouraging me uh, so very much and um, I can't wait till tomorrow when I get to watch all of you for those of you that have a channel and uh, share something new 
All right, because it's going to be a long work day, so I don't know how much vlogging I'll be doing. I'll try to do a couple segments of it. Um, I'm going to have a crock pot meal. It's going to be easy peasy. All right, we'll be back tomorrow. All right, guys, as always, go down in that about section, check the links that I've left for you, and um, share this if you want to. Hit the like button, comment, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I'd love to have you on board. And uh, we share stuff every day. Every day. Woo. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Just giving you a little sneak peek of our soup that we had tonight. It was absolutely delicious. I'll see you tomorrow.